So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and remove people and or objects from a specific photo on your Android phone. Now doing this is actually fairly basic. Now you can't probably do this within Google Photos, but I like using another Google application for this, which is called Snapseed. So this is an application Google made and you can download it. So make your way over to your Play Store and download this one. There's also other apps you can try too, but the concept's pretty much the same thing. So what you want to do is once you have it downloaded, you want to go and open up this application and you want to basically bring in a photo within this app. So click this plus photo or plus icon, and then you'll come into your photo icon here. And then you want to go ahead and bring that specific photo that you want to go ahead and you know actually edit. Now, I don't even think I have too many photos, but we'll just use this one for an example. So then when we go ahead and bring that image in, let's say I really wanted to go ahead and remove like this, these yellow, whatever, squid, like the snake, yellow snake thing, whatever, right? Well, what I can do here is I can go ahead and scroll over to that middle option, which is tools. So I can click on tools here and you want to find that healing brush. So there's going to be a healing icon somewhere. It used to be in the third row. So it is in the third row, but it's the first icon. So find the healing icon, which is right there. And then what you can do is you can zoom in to wherever part you want to go ahead and heal. And then what you can do here is you want to go ahead and basically highlight the portion that you want to go and like kind of cover just like this. Now it doesn't work all the time. As you guys can tell, it's like very, very 50, 50, but sometimes it does. So you can see right there, it almost perfectly covered, like it perfectly cut that out, whatever I was trying to, you know, kind of clean out. And then what you can do is just keep going. So you can just keep going in whatever I think is the majority of it. It'll just go and kind of delete. So it can take a few minutes or a few seconds for it to kind of get better. And then after a certain amount of time, you can see it's going to go ahead and basically delete all of it. Now, again, it takes some time, so it's not going to be perfect every single time. The thing that I've realized the most is that if you get a majority, like as you can see, if you can get a majority of what you wanted to replace on the other like, side, then it's going to go ahead and basically replace it. It's, it's pretty much going to fix it. So if we take a look at this one, right, this is going to be kind of hard because we do have the stem coming out. But if we go and try this out, if I start off on the side that I don't want to replace and I kind of go into the part that I do kind of want it replaced, I can kind of get it to kind of mess around a little bit. I can kind of get it to actually go and replace and you know, basically, you know, remove those objects from the photo. So it's actually a really cool little thing. And I can even kind of go a little bit further here and keep going. So that is an example. You kind of have to mess around with it a little bit, but that is pretty much how it's done. That's basically how you go and remove, you know, objects and people if you want to from a photo. From there, you can go and click save and I'll go and save it. You can export it out, but that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.